Yo, so what's going on, my people? I'm Henry once again, and I'm here. Today, I'll be driving back to the West. I mean, East Germany. I came with my family so we can all celebrate Christmas at their grandmama's house in the village, and um, it's in the east of Germany. And um, today, I'll be driving back to the West because we live in the West, on the West side, you know. <laughs> and um, I would love to take you along with you guys along with me on this journey and I will be showing you some important and strategic places along the way. I'll be using the A4, then the A7, and then the A44, and then the A40, A40, the A52, and uh, till Dusseldorf. That somebody somewhere will put in something, will tip in a number, and you know, it's a collective thing. I don't think one person will just wake up one day and say, hey, man, I don't want to build a school because I hate my people so much, you know? I, I don't think a minister will say, hey, I hate my people so much. I don't want to renovate the only school in the village. I seriously don't believe that. I, I don't believe a minister will say, uh, no, man, instead of fixing this road, instead make her fix the road, no, I will rather steal the money, go to Europe and buy, buy houses and, uh, you, you know, buy houses that I'm, um, uh, you know that one day the Europeans been wake up and you know they say hey get the hell out of our country and they claim the house they claim the land you know I seriously don't believe that so um please enjoy like share I just want to have fun maybe I'll be talking on some things you know I'll be talking about some things in the car while driving that on the autobahn there are no speed limits we also have rules on the autobahn rule number one the autobahn is always move to the right um, I still talk about nutrition and I'll just be sharing we will just be communicating you know, while I'm driving in my in, in my opinion I think we are over 500 million because there is no way there is no place on this planet you will not find a Nigerian if you go to anywhere on this planet and there is no Nigerian, not one, there is no single Nigerian, and not just being there, you don't. If you go to a place, you don't find a Niger, you don't find a Nigerian doing business successfully. <laughs> Let me repeat that: If you go to anywhere on this planet and you don't find a Nigerian doing business and succeeding in that business get the hell out of that place so i'm um, come along and enjoy the trip the journey with me love you guys wish you guys a merry christmas and i, I hope you had a i hope you have or you had a wonderful christmas and um, i wish you guys a happy new year in advance prosperity joy good health and everything all the things you wish yourself i mean the crack house love peace and prosperity should come your way in jesus name you know in whatever you believe in and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video and um, just like share and subscribe and yeah live healthy So I've commenced my journey. Like I said, I'll be taking you guys along with me and I'll be showing you guys some important places along the way. I'll be using the A4. Uh, from the A4, I'll connect to the S7 and then to the A44 and then to the A40 and the A52. Yeah. Uh, it's a five hour journey. So let's just have fun, okay? I'm Henry Crackhouse. I will see you guys. Um, I didn't know we'll just be yawning, no shakings, yeah? So let's go.
I want to top up my fuel. I want to top up some fuel because I have 350 kilometers uh, this thing range of petrol in the vehicle. So I want to top it up to like 600 so I can so it can take me from here direct to do that. Up. I don't have to. I wouldn't have to stop somewhere again to fill up. So come with me. Yo, so what's going on, people? I'm still Henry Crackhouse, still right here. <laughs> so, my people, what's going on now? Yeah? And uh, yeah, um, I have started my journey going back to Dusseldorf from Chemnitz, and um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be needing like five hours to get from here to my destination. I've just, uh, I have just topped up my fuel. I have like 650 kilometer fuel range in my vehicle now and um, yeah um, so I'll be showing you guys some important places along the way and uh, maybe I will stop maybe not I don't know depending on how bad or good the weather is gonna turn out to be because from the forecast it's gonna be windy it's already windy and they predicted that it might rain somewhere in Hessen and so I don't know but nevertheless I'm just gonna take you guys along with me so please sit back enjoy the video like share and um, let's just have fun you know I love driving and um, yeah so um, let's just have fun while talking about some you know while getting to let's share knowledge you know we are nigerians uh, let's talk about nigeria how the you know let's talk about the situation of things in nigeria currently and um you know it's uh christmas uh, today is christmas today is december the 25th 2023 and um things haven't really changed that much since the new government took power as uh, Nigerians are still finding it difficult to, to, to make ends meet things haven't really changed because, because we were expecting change but you know I know that it's gonna uh, I know that it may take some time for change for things to you know start working the way things are supposed to work but the you know how we Nigerians are. We want things to be fast, 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 sharp, sharp. It has to be now, now, now. Everything has to be now, now, now. The same reason why we, uh, you know, the, the, the same reason why we hustle, we, you know, we do regular stuff in just to make money quick, 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 you know, and we end up killing ourselves in the process and then we'll start blaming it on, we'll turn around and blame it on fictional things like witches and wizards and then we'll go to church and some quote unquote man of God will walk us through how witches and wizards operate you know 
Nigeria is tough, things tough, people are finding it difficult to make ends meet. Uh, we were expecting the new, we were expecting, and we are still expecting, hoping that the new government of Al, Al Haji Bola Tinubu will turn things around. We hope, and we are still keeping, you know, we are still crossing our fingers, hoping things will change, turn out for the better for ordinary Nigerians. I'm Henry Crackhouse. I created a show. Uh, I created a show, and that show, on that show, I talk. I, I try to help Nigerians uh, because I um, I visited Nigeria 2022. I saw things with my own two eyes. You know how we talk in Nigeria. You saw things with my own two eyes. I saw how Nigerians are suffering. I saw how Nigerians are suffering. What Nigerians are going through. So when I came back to you. Uh, to Germany, to Europe, I decided to. How can I help? If you pay attention to things where they happen, you could they cash God that sometimes when you want to do miraculous things, you could cash them in the act, and then you go, you know, then you go twist that act and you could benefit from that act. But most of all, I don't pay attention because poverty, poverty. Poverty is very, very dangerous because when poverty they hit you, believe me, you know the thing straight. I decided to help because you know we all you know we keep talking, talking, talking. We keep talking, 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 blaming the government for everything. Blame. I'm sorry that this thing is blocking, is kind of interfering, but you know. I had to find a way. I had to find a way, like to come up with a way or, uh, to hold the camera, to hold the camera uh, on the, like to attach the camera to the windscreen. So I beg your pardon. I hope you understand with me. I'm driving and it's like what I'm doing now is illegal in Germany, you know, but I'm just taking chances because I want to talk with you guys. I have like the journey is going to take five hours. I'm going to be on the road five hours. I hope there will be no traffic on the road. I hope every day, you know, today is 20 feet. I'm supposed to be at house, at home chilling. I'm supposed to be at home sleeping. But you know, you know, those things you do for your family. <laughs> you know, those things you do for your family. Sometimes you're like, man, the things you do to make your children happy, you know. So I, I, we came here to celebrate Christmas with Oma, with Grandma, with my mother-in-law. I'm going back to my city now because tomorrow I have to go back to, you know, I have to hustle. I have to resume my hustle tomorrow. You know, I don't say we don't come here to to sleep now. You don't say we don't sleep for here. <laughs> so, so me, I will commence my hustling tomorrow. They will come back on Friday. I'll pick them up on Friday, and uh, you know we're just good. You know we had fun. We had, you know, it was a, it was a good time. You know, they celebrate Christmas on the twenty fourth. Yeah, here Christmas is twenty fourth. They call it the Halloween album. It's the twenty fourth. They they celebrate Christmas twenty fourth. Everybody, they uh, all uh, family gathering is on the twenty fourth. Uh, cooking is on the 24th, eating is on the 24th, visiting is on the 24th. No, I think visiting is on the 26th. On the 25th, like today, people just chill at home. People just chill at home. And no one is going away. You know, it's only Nigerians like me you see on the road, no traveling, because, you know, we don't say now. So, um, like, you no, know, it, 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 it has been fun. The things you do for your family, you know. Yeah. Let's not talk about family. Let's talk about Nigeria. So how are they Nigerians? How are you guys, Nigeria? Wonderful people, beautiful people, beautiful country, beautiful continent. Man, I love Nigeria die. I swear, I love Nigeria die. I love Nigeria die. But, but you see, it's a sad, sad situation when you see uh, your people suffering. It's a sad situation when you see your people suffering. And you know that your, those people are not supposed to be suffering. You know that there is no reason. You know. You know. You know. 
in your mind you know that there is no reason why those people should suffer you know that there is no reason why those people should suffer you know that there is no reason I as a Nigerian there is no reason why Nigerians should pay 750 naira for a liter of petrol there is absolutely no justification to that there is no reason why the naira should be over 1000 to a you to a dollar there is absolutely no justice to that there is no reason why nigerians should suffer none no zero none nigerians are supposed to live very the Nigerians are supposed to be the happiest people in Africa. Nigerians, see, see, well forget, say, them say we are over 200 million people. I know that we are over 200 people, uh, 200 million people. And two, over 200 million people, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people, which now turns out to be like a threat to some other nation, to some other people. Do, 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 do you know how much 200 million is? That's a lot of people. That's a lot of intelligent people. And Nigerians are not dumb. Nigerians are not lazy people. That's a lot of intelligent, smart people. So we are like a threat to so many people. That's why you see some other Africans. I'm not trying to knock my fellow brothers and sisters, my fellow African brothers and sisters, but it is the reason why some of them will like pick, uh, choose to beef with us. Make a talk and like that. It is the reason why some of them will choose to choose to beef with us. Will you no? Know, will choose to hate us for just no reason. For us just being too smart for our own um, for our own good. You know. I read the other day in the news the, the report of the uh, investigation, the, the investigation, the team that was investigating Emefiele, Emefiele, the former uh, CBN governor. I just read the whole report and I'm like, come, come on, people. I just, you know, you, 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 you don't need a doctorate degree to ask questions. You don't need a doctorate degree to like. To debunk to debunk some of the things in that report for real because it just doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense they may feel it one person able to operate for over 590 something bank different bank accounts in Europe it's it, it's imaginary man it's imaginary it is not possible see I live in Germany I operate like four bank accounts, four different bank accounts. Sometimes I know how difficult it has it, it, it always been for me to even remember that I own, I have a, a bank account at Post Bank. I have a bank account at this bank. And whoa, 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 whoa. even my credit cards, I don't know the PIN number. <laughs> it's so, so sometimes, you know, so when I read the, 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 the report, I was like, come on, people. I know MFLA messed up. I know MFLA fucked up. But come on, people. Come on, people. I'm not supporting what he did. I'm not supporting how we changed the money, how we changed the Naira at the, you know, without informing um, the Minister of Finance, who's supposed to be the one to authorize a, a, a money change. I've been as though they call him. The Minister of Finance. In fact, I don't even believe that the Minister of Finance wasn't aware of the uh, 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 of the Naira redesign. I don't believe that. See, I am a Nigerian. And if you know what I know, if you know what a Nigerian knows, you will know that, hey, there are some, you know, that there are some reports from Nigeria that you will just allow it to get into one side of your ear and then exit through the other side of your ear, you know? We are Nigerians. We are crazy. See, 
see, uh, I, I, I don't want to over, um, oh, 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 over press us, but we are smart people. We are smarter than that. We are smarter than that. We are too smart to be suffering. Our population is exploding, and that's a threat to some other people. Because look at China now. When China's population was exploding, people were not paying attention. The Chinese were going over the planet, learning things. They were going over the planet, studying, studying things, how things are made, how things are done. They were sending the knowledge, the blueprint back home. Nigerians are doing the same thing. We are over 200, we are over 300, if not even 500 million. Forget the, the census, what the censor board says, because the censor board is only conducting censors in the city, censor in the cities. The censor board isn't going to the villages, to the interior part of Nigeria to conduct censor. I don't know. So this, the 200 and something million video they've been throwing around and throwing about is from a, is from a places like Lagos, uh, Potako, Abuja, Kaduna, Kano, uh, Onicha. I know they don't go to Abak. <laughs> they, they, they don't go to Savonkari to do the censor. So all this talk about us, we are more than two hundred million. In my in, in my opinion, I think we are over five hundred million because there is no way. There is no place on this planet you will not find a Nigerian. If you go to anywhere on this planet and there is no Nigerian, not one, there is no single Nigerian, and not just being there, you don't. If you go to a place, you don't find a Niger, you don't find a Nigerian doing business successfully. <laughs> Let me repeat that: If you go to anywhere on this planet and you don't find a nigerian doing business and succeeding in that business get the hell out of that place if you go anywhere on this planet and you don't find a nigerian operating a successful booming business get them out of that place the only place you won't find a nigerian is maybe in the north pole and Believe me, if the government will let people, ordinary people, go to the North Donna and the South Pole, you will, Nigerians will set up shop. <laughs> the Nigerians will go set up shop. Man, I love Nigeria, die. I'm not knocking any other people, any other African nation. We are all one and the same people. But come on, man. I just love our beloved Niger, die. So it has pain me. It a pain me when I see my people they suffer. It they make me vex because I know say it get no reason why my people supposed suffer. There is no reason why Nigerians should suffer. So it they vex me. It be like say I've been speaking English all this while, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna switch now to pigeon and then be switching back and forth pigeon English, pigeon English, Ibibio sometimes. Sometimes, in the mix. <laughs> Man, I love to see. It, 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 it's only a Nigerian that can think like that. Now, only Niger person fit think the way we are just fit say what they are just talk to. Maybe everybody, see, everyone is coming online trying to impress the English people, trying to impress some people by speaking English, blowing grammar. Blowing grammar, they don't even understand. I'm here to tell you things in pidgin English. I'm here to yarn with you in pidgin English. And so, sometimes, yeah, throw you guys in the mix so that we better understand what's in the apple. <laughs> so, I've been carrying my family go Christmas in the east, you know. So, now I'm driving back to Dusseldorf. I'm on the A4 now. Uh, on the A4, there is no speed limit on the A4, but I'm not in a hurry because it's windy and it's uh, 20 feet, you know? As, as a Nigerian, you've got to be smarter than that. Sometimes you've got to be a little bit smarter than some people, you know? It's the 20 feet of December. I'm not rushing to anywhere. I'm driving to my house 
<laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I'm driving. I just want to sit in this car and like with the talk, I'm in Germany and I will get this, the, you know, the scenery, you know, the atmosphere, just the fun of driving. So uh, I just, I thought that maybe I could just carry you guys along. I've been thinking, say, make I carry on along. So I move again, I can now so I want move on in Germany. On this short autobahn, we call this autobahn the A40, the young switch, the camera, yeah, I got. yeah. We, we call this, the, 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 this autobahn, this particular uh, highway, it, it is called in Germany, the autobahn. Uh, pardon me that I said the A40. I mistakenly said the A40. So this is the A4. On this A4, there is no speed limit on this highway. What that translates to is, Say if you know Sabi drive, <laughs> what did that translates to be say if you know Sabi drive, take a bus. If you know Sabi drive, take a train. Now what thing that translates to be that? It means if you don't know how to drive, if you are not perfect enough with your driving, with your driving, if you are not convinced enough with the way and how you drive, take public transport take public transportation i've been as already talking take a train there is no way in this country where train no they go there is no way in this country you won't find a train station so take a train i'm on the a4 like i talk i'm say at the beginning of the video say i could show now some important places on this autobahn like the former concentration camp where i don't go there before i've been make one video i don't go there record video before we have been post the former concentration camp where the nazis been used to kill people you know they, they call them Buchenwald. it is somewhere in weimar it is somewhere in weimar along this autobahn weimar used to be a, 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 i think all this area yeah, yeah, all this area used to be the Weimar Republic, I think. Yeah. Uh, so um, I could show now that place. I could show now places like that. Then I could show now this other place where they call the three clashes. The three clashes, if you translate them in English, it means uh, the three same. The same three. It means the same three. The same three. The three clashes. It means the same three. If something is uh, three things all look the same, yeah, it means say uh, three things. These three things, them all look the same. Uh, these are uh, uh, medieval, uh, medieval um, castle. They build them. They built them on top of hills, overlooking each other. When you see them castles, when you see the castles, you go understand why, how, you know, the, 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 the mindset of those people that time. And you could see, say, it may be like, say, these people were like a family. Eh? Say, it may be like, say, they, they were like a family. And say, they've been there for, say, they've been the beef. <laughs> if you see how they build the castles, you could understand, say, these people were beefing. Because they built the, the castle, the three castles on top of hills overlooking each other. Which means say there is no way where this other army go one attack, where this other army no go see. <laughs> so you know if, if you see army, you, you, you could just understand their mindset that time. Then I could show na um yeah, I could just show na some beautiful places. It's um I'm I'm still in Saxon. I'm still in Saxon. After Saxon, I could enter Thuringen. Thuringen. These are different, different states. The state of Saxon. I'm in the state of Saxon now. Very soon, I will enter the state of Thuringen. And from Thuringen, I could pass the state of uh, Hessen. Hessen is where for Frankfurt is. The capital of Hessen is Frankfurt. Frankfurt and Main, where the um, where the airport is. Yeah. And uh, I think the capital of Saxon is, I think, Dresden. I think it should be Dresden. And then the capital of Thuringen. I think the capital of Thuringen should be Weimar. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm really not sure. But I will check. Yeah. 
so you see i still have like 325 kilometers to frankfurt and i'll, I'll be driving on this a4 when I come out for this A4 now, I go enter the S7. The S7 might be the best, my best autobahn of all time. <laughs> my best autobahn ever because of how it is. It be like a race track, you know. So from the A7, I go enter the A44. From the A44, I go link up on the A40. Then I go link up the A40. From the A40, I go link up the A52, and I'm in Dusseldorf. I wanna day. We wanna enjoy the trip. Nothing that happen. I'm still Henry Krakhaus, and I'm just cruising. It's a uh, uh, Monday, the 25th of December, 2023. We still have seven days till the New Year. So enjoy the trip, and just like, share, and subscribe. Nothing do you, yeah.